Today we have the great honor of receiving Richard Weick, Director of Global Attitudes Research at the BU Research Center. Thank you very much, Richard, for being here. Well, maybe it is interesting for our viewers to know uh, what is the, the Pew Research Center and um, how does it work? Uh, what are your projects? Well, you know, we uh, do survey work all around the world. So we've been doing it for a little over a decade now, and we've conducted surveys with almost 400,000 people in 63 different countries around the world. Um, and one of the most important parts of our work is finding good research partners in each country. So, um, you know, we find the best research organization in each country to conduct the survey, um, and we translate uh, our questions into all of the appropriate local languages. Uh, we get nationally representative samples uh, in all of the, the countries where we work. Um, and in most countries where we do this, this type of thing, uh, it's a face-to-face -face interview. We send people out to, uh, you know, neighborhoods, villages, cities, uh, all around the country and conduct in-person interviews in people's homes. In a few places, the United States, uh, Spain, you know, much of Europe, Japan, South Korea, a few other sort of economically advanced nations, we do telephone surveys. But for the most part, in most of the countries where we work, this is a face-to-face -face interview. Uh, Richard, could you tell us a few words on how America is perceived in the world and particularly from Spain? Sure. Well, this is a topic that we've done a lot of work on over the last decade and it's been a really interesting story. Uh, a lot of ups and downs and changes in terms of how the world sees the United States. So, you know, we did a lot of polling during the George W. Bush era and we documented the rise of a lot of anti-Americanism around the world. Uh, including, you know, here in Spain and in, 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 in Europe, uh, where there's a lot of opposition to the Iraq War. The Bush administration's foreign policy was very unpopular, and ratings for the U.S. and Spain and elsewhere in, in the region uh, turned much more negative. Uh, once President Obama was elected in 2009, we saw a real resurgence of America's image globally, uh, particularly uh, in Europe and in, including Spain. Um, and you know, for the most part, America's image has remained strong over the last few years, although you've seen a little bit of a, a dip in Obama's ratings in, in many parts of the world. Um, right now, 60% uh, in Spain tell us they have a positive view of the U.S. 58% have a positive view of President Obama. So the numbers are, are still positive, but they've come down maybe a little bit since 2009 and that sort of honeymoon period where people were you know, very excited about President Obama um, and very you know, happy to see a change in the American administration. Well, our last question would be if you could focus a little bit on uh, domestic public opinion in the United States. Um, which would you say are the most important issues for, for the Americans? Sure. Well, you know, the American public over the last few years has been very concerned about economics, uh, just as the public here in Spain has been. Uh, you know, since 2008 and the economic downturn, a lot of concerns in the U.S. about jobs and other economic issues, and that's still probably the top um, issue in the U.S. But we have seen an uptick, I think, in concerns about foreign policy issues, particularly over the last few months. Americans are, uh, you know, very concerned about ISIS uh, and what they've done in Syria and Iraq. Um, Americans are concerned about uh, the situation in Ukraine. Um, you know, views towards Russia have turned much more negative. Uh, and foreign policy um, as a whole, I think, is getting more attention than it did maybe even like six months ago. And President Obama's ratings on foreign policy have turned more negative. So, um, you know, that issue I think has a little more salience than it did a few months ago and something you'll probably hear a lot about as we move towards midterm congressional elections in the U.S., which will be held in November.